Because I feel like I haven't put enough nails in my coffin when it comes to the terrestrial radio business, I want to discuss something I fucking hate that radio stations do. Their constant posting of memes, funny pictures, links to shit on BuzzFeed or other similarly lame websites, and basically anything that has absolutely nothing to do with their radio station or the people on it. Here are some examples. These are taken from major market stations. First, we have this very philosophical dog with apparently uncontrollable bowel movements. I'm not sure what this has to do with the radio station, but likely dick all. Then we have this oh-so-hilarious Waldo group therapy photo. This reference isn't dated as fuck. Where's Waldo? Hasn't been popular since the 90s. And yes, I'm aware that it's Wally in other countries. Another station posts this hideous sweater with the caption, Hashtag, would you wear it? A subtle call to action to comment whether you would or not. And less subtle, we return to a picture of a dog with the caption, To me, this dog is saying, Yo, bro, what you looking at, bro? What is he saying to you? Begging for your comments. This is a fucking useless practice, but it's being taught to kids in broadcast school now and is actually considered a legitimate social media strategy. Consultants get paid big money to go to radio stations and tell them to do this. And they tell stations to promote themselves as little as possible because you see, those pesky listeners, they're savvy, you know. They know when they're being advertised to and they hate ads, especially on Facebook. So instead, you post a picture of a cat riding a dog with a stupid fucking caption and BAM! Those apparently savvy listeners will like and share the shit out of that. Really smart people, you see. Again, a man or woman comes into a business, in this case a radio station, tells them to post dumb shit on their Facebook page, and gets paid money. Real dollars that could be used in exchange for goods and services. Does it work? Well, that depends on how you define work. Does it get more likes and shares than if a radio station posted something like, Coming up in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to tell you about the new side project from Jack White, or Be listening at 3.15 for your chance to qualify to win tickets to such and such an event. Or a SoundCloud link to some of their best bits from the morning show. Absolutely, no question. But what person has ever said, I listen to 93.9 The Eel because they post the funniest memes. Nobody. Those stupid pictures and links aren't driving anyone to listen to your station. They're only driving traffic to your Facebook page. So now you have a bunch of droolies that don't even listen to your station who just follow for the pictures. So, what do you do with them once you have them? The reason a radio station wants to have the highest ratings is because that means they can sell more ads, and for a higher price, which means more money. But there's not much sense in inflating your Facebook numbers since you're not going to advertise your station or other products because again, those pesky savvy listeners are on the lookout for that. So instead, you're left with a collection of morons that you're just posting links and pictures to for no fucking reason. It certainly doesn't translate into better ratings. The station in my city with the most Facebook likes was fourth in the ratings during the last period, and the number one station in the city has over 10,000 fewer likes. But radio stations put so much effort into their social media strategy because they think they have to. Facebook exists, and a lot of people use it, so we should do something with it, is essentially the mindset. But then they don't know what to fucking do with the following once they've got it. You'll notice if you follow me on Facebook that I don't do this shit. I post links to my own videos and teasers to upcoming stuff. And sometimes I'll post ads for shit I want you to buy. Because I want you to buy it. I posted a picture of the title screen of my 10 Worst Songs video with the caption roughly 125 hours to go and got over 3,000 likes. You let me know when any local radio host can post a teaser or a link to their own content and they manage those numbers. Sure, I could post a shitload of stupid pictures and memes and I bet I could get a fuckload of extra likes and shares and more people following my page. But those people aren't liking my page for me. They'd be liking it for the stupid pictures, and that's exactly what's happening with these radio stations. These Facebook fans don't give a fuck about the station. And apparently the station doesn't give a shit either. Radio stations don't promote their hosts, they don't want you to care about them, they want you to like a bunch of stupid shit they found on the internet for you because apparently you don't have access to Google. So have some balls and promote yourself. Post clips of your best bits. If people aren't liking your radio station on Facebook for the content you provide on air, what's the point anyway? Whatever. These people aren't going to listen to me. What the fuck do I know, right? So keep posting the shit you post. You'll have 10, 20, 30, 40,000 likes on Facebook, maybe more, 
and maybe 10% of them are listening to your radio station at any given time, and anywhere between 10 to 50% of them have no idea that you're even a radio station. They just think you're another Facebook page that posts funny shit. Good job. Your strategy worked. Raises for everyone. Oh, wait. It's radio. Never mind the raises.